Hey guys, I think I got something really special to share with you today. I've been wanting to figure out how to use deep high conductors for my sites here in, in Maryland and Pennsylvania. I like looking for coins and old relics and things like that. I think this program, even out of the box, is a deep high conductor works really well. But I think the way I've got this configured now, it's going to work even better and it's going to smack really deep silver coins and coins in general. So uh, stay tuned, we're just getting started. Hey guys, Scott here from the Mental Metal Channel and MentalMetalDetecting.com and today we have the Deus 2 out again. I am loving this machine. I'm having a good time with it, learning it, trying to figure it out and coming up with some things to help you guys learn and figure it out too. So I have a whole series of videos on my channel. I just made a new playlist for all of them at the rec recommendation of one of my subscribers. He says, hey, can you put all those videos in a playlist to make it simple for us to find them? absolutely you have them out there now i also made a playlist for all the uh equinox videos that i've done over the last year or so as well so there's two new playlists out there on the channel check them out if you're interested in learning how to use the Deus 2 or the equinox as well i'll probably do one for the nocta Mac macro legend and uh the ctx 3030 as i put some more videos out for them but today we're focusing on the Deus 2 again i've been really really excited about using i have a coin program i've built for that for this machine around the park program if you guys want to check that out i'll put the link in the description but i've had a lot of success with that um, it goes pretty deep i'm not going to say it goes the deepest but it does go pretty deep and i've just had great success with it i know a lot of people have plugged that program into their machine and have also given me some great feedback on how successful they've have they've had with it as well so uh, but today I've been trying to figure out a way to mess around with the deep high conductor. I really like that program, but I wanted it to do something similar like the coin program does. Um, I got the idea off of Calbash Digger's video over there on his channel. He does some pretty cool stuff with, uh, you know, testing the machines. does a pretty good job of it. Uh, and there's been a lot of drama on that channel. I'm not going to say there hasn't been, but uh, I do like what he does with some of his testing. So I got the idea from him. So thanks, Calbash, out there. Um, I wanted to configure a deep high conductor program to help me find deep coins and I think I got one. So I'm going to take you through that today and, and step you through what I've done. I've made it a very, very simple program. Uh, you'll be surprised how simple it is. Um, I'm not using any reactivity. I'm not using any silencer, none of that stuff. I'm, I'm using as many, I'm, I'm not using hardly any filters in this program for a reason. I think you get the most depth when you shut all that stuff off. So, and I'm still getting pretty good separation. So if you're hunting for deep silver coins, this could be it. This could be your ticket. I've tested it here in my test garden. I got 16 good targets, deep targets, 10, nine inches, 12 inches. Um, so, and I've hit all of them. I've hit all of them with, with ease actually. So um, check out the video. I will uh, go through all the settings here in a second. All right, guys, I got a real treat for you today. I've been working on this, um, deep high conductor program i've been wanting to build something around you know the high conductor program because i really like the high conductor program but um, i wanted to turn it into something like a coin program or something that would just smack coins and um, i saw some things on some videos and uh, i went over and i did check out one of calabash diggers videos on the deep high conductor so it kind of gave me an idea it's probably very similar to his i have not written down what he had in his video but um I got enough out of it to kind of mess with the settings here in mine. And uh, I think I, I got something that's going to be really cool to, to try out. It's a very, very simple program. It is a, um, well, I'll just take you through the settings here. Let's start out at discrimination. So I'm discriminating up all the way to, to 40, okay? And I'm in a two-tone program. That's it. I'm really sniffing out deep, deep coins in this program. Go to expert. Uh, the first target tone is uh, from zero to 40, and it's 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 discriminated out. So anything above 40 is going to hit. Um, it's going to hit with a high tone. So you may dig some junk in this range. You probably will, but if you're if you're trying to sniff out some deep deep targets, this this might work very well. So, and I, I've only tested it here in the test garden. 
I'm itching to get over to a, a, a permission I have that has been known to carry silver coins and stuff, but uh, most of them have been snuffed out. So uh, maybe there's a deep one laying around. This program should do it. Let me show you why. Let's just keep going through here. Um, I'm not using any B caps. Um, I'm trying to use as many less filters as possible in this program. No notch. I've turned it off. Silencer is off. And uh, let's get into the other stuff here. So I'm calling it my deep high conductor mental metal, mental metal program. So it's it's um, the MM stands for mental metal. Uh, sensitivity. I'm running as high as I can. So 93 here in my test garden. Uh, frequency shift is one. Iron volume I bumped up to three just because I'm using outside in the speaker. Now, if you have headphones, you may want to just use uh, one or two. Reactivity I've I've knocked down to zero. You may think that's kind of crazy, but I'm finding that it you know even a reactivity of zero, you're still getting really good separation with the with the days two. Um, sure, you can raise it up if you want. We'll try some of that here in a minute. Um, I bought my auto response up to five because I thought I felt four was a little bit too quiet and so if you're hitting those deep targets you kind of want to hear so I'm, I'm, I'm enhancing the volume a little bit and that's really it discrimination is back to 40 so let me just show you what the targets sound like um, I've got 16 targets as you guys have probably followed this channel um, I am running 16 targets here what, the first one here is a dime at 10 inches, Merc dime. And see, even at audio response 5, it's still very subtle, but I'm getting it. And I'm probably getting it at 12 or 13 inches with my coil raise off the ground a little bit. This is going to be a war nickel. It's ringing up 83, 82. And by the way, the... The dime is hitting 90, jump around a little bit, but 90, 92. This is going to be my 12-inch uh, half dollar, 99. Here is my Merc dime in, buried in between some nails. So you can hear the iron in there, but I'm still getting the Merc. Hitting 90, 92 once in a while. But you can still tell there's something in there. This is a bottle cap, which this is that weird bottle cap. Going to the back row here, the middle row. This is my 8 inch quarter on edge, silver quarter. So 90. Definitely 93, definitely would dig that. Uh, here's my V nickel. Very clean. Bringing up uh, 51, 54. Sorry about the shadows here. This is going to be my barber quarter. 97, 96. 1903 Indian head penny. Buried about eight or nine inches, hitting E5 on the target ID. Three ringer, it's down about 10 inches, I believe. E4, solid E4 in that one. Hmm, I'm kind of excited about this actually. Here is my suspender clip at uh, eight or nine inches. I can't remember how my paper in front of me. But man, E2 really loud. I'm coming off the ground even higher, so that thing's. Smacking probably down about 14 inches. Here is a silver thimble buried around 9 inches, I believe. Coming in at 89. My coil, I'm raising it, I'm still getting it, and it's still 87, 89. Pull tab, obviously, I'm gonna get that. I'm ringing in at 72. Here is a 10 inch large scent. It's coming in at 89, 90. I'm even raising it up. It's probably 13 inches, 14 inches. Still locking in at 90, 91. This is a uh, shell frag, so you're getting that. And then my last one's a uh, flat button. Hitting 72, 73, and I'm coming way off the ground on this one. I'm still getting, 
still getting a really hammering signal. Hello, Rocky. Welcome to the video. I see you found a box. Can you leave the box there, please? Thanks. Off he goes with the box. All right. So, there you go. That is the setting so far. Now, what if I raise the reactivity up? Somebody's going to ask me. So, let's let's go ahead and do that. Let's um reactivity, let's raise it up to, I don't know, 2. Seems to be the standard most people use. Um, let's see if it makes any difference. So I can still hear the dime. It's kind of faint. But I would dig that. Here's the uh, war nickel. I would definitely dig that. It's still coming in at 82, 83. Here's the 10 inch or 12 inch half dollar. Still coming in good there. 99. Merc. Hearing more of the iron, that's for sure, but it's still, you can hear the Merc in there. You hear something's in there. You're just seeing on the target ID. Oh, there it is, 90. So you're getting that. I'm not even going to do the bottle cap because that's going to come in no matter what. It's a weird bottle cap. Um, here's the 8 inch quarter on edge. 94. Still coming in good there. V nickel. Still coming in good there. Hitting 50. Well, it's starting to. Well, it's still coming in good. 50, 61, 63. Here is my barber quarter. 96. 95, uh, Indian head penny, 84, 85, three ringer, 83, 84, the final row here, got a suspender clip, nine inches, 82, thimble, thimble silver thimble down 89 inches, so it's even at, at uh, reactivity of two, we're hitting all these targets. So that's a large scent, 10 inches, and then the flat button. So you can get away with some reactivity in there, but I think I like it better without any reactivity on. But if you get in a situation where you got a lot of junk in the ground, you might this might help you out. But I'm excited about this program. I think it might actually work pretty well. I've been running through my yard a little bit, trying to pick up some good signals, and it, it definitely picks up good and bad signals. So, um, I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm going to try it out. I'll put all the settings. Uh, well, you have all the settings now on the video, but I'll, I'll write up a little blog article and put it on the website eventually, too. So, check this out. Tell me what you think. All right, guys, there you go. So, there is the program, the Deep High Conductor Mental Metal Program, <laughs> if you want to call it that. You can call whatever you want. Uh, I'm just hopeful that it works for you. I think it's going to be awesome. So let me know what you think. Drop me a comment. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. If you're looking for a Deus 2, my friends over at Fort Bedford Metal Detectors carry them. And they would love to do business with you. So give them a look. Here's their banner. Here's their information. And uh, I'll tell them the Mental Metal channel sent you. And they'll hook you up. All right? That's it for me today, guys. Thanks for watching. And good luck with the uh, Deep High Conductor. See you next time. See ya! Oh, here he comes. That's a good dog right there. That is a good dog. Look at him. He's hanging out. Walking with